today I want to talk about a topic that is most common among first time snake keepers and that is how to get your snake to trust you and having a nervous and jumpy snake. So here's a little disclaimer before I show you the clip I'm about to show you. What I'm going to show you is not me annoying Shadow, it is just for video purposes on showing you hesitation and handling snakes. I can assure you she is absolutely fine, she wasn't stressed at all, she quickly went back to doing her own thing and being, was absolutely fine with me. So my first tip is, isn't something that I've heard any other snake keepers talk about in tutorial YouTube videos. And the first tip is hesitating when going to pick up your snake. For me it's something that if I go to hesitate, with, well before Shadow was so tame, if I go to hesitate, as I'll show you now, she gets a little bit annoyed. They will get annoyed, which is understandable, you will want something moving your hand in their face. And as you can see, she bit me. Now because she is so tame, it took a long time of me annoying her to try and get her to bite me. She hasn't bitten me in a very long time, but as I'll show you now, I'm going to go in, not hesitate at all, just go in and pick her up and she's absolutely fine because she knows that there's no point in trying to bite me because I'm not afraid of her. If your snake does bite a lot, you can always invest in a snake hook. The one I have is from Amazon and isn't very expensive. It's telescopic and you can have it any length you like. It's a really, really, really good hook, but I wouldn't use it on adult snakes, use it at, on youngsters. So th this is the hook that I got. It's really inexpensive. It's £7.75 on Amazon Prime. And I find that it's better for younger snakes, but it's too small for the bigger snakes. Another tip for taming your snake is to have a minimal setup. That means no extravagant vines and lots of places to hide. This means two hides, one on the cool end, one on the hot end to keep that thermal gradient, and a branch for climbing on, and obviously the water bowl. Having a setup like this means your snake isn't constantly hiding. This means that they will get used to you moving around and looking in their viv, and they will end up coming up the glass and looking at you. Another one of my tricks is to feed outside the viv. This is a very controversial subject in the snake world and I'll get more into this in another video. So I just lay out a towel on my bed and feed Shadow as I normally would and sit with her. So I just sit in front of her and then put my hand down in front of her while she's eating. This gets her used to your smell and realise that, that you're not there to do her any harm when a snake's eating is when a snake's at the most vulnerable so this will get them to trust you. I don't recommend touching your snake while you're eating like stroking them. I would don't recommend that because that can stress them out and that can cause them to regurgitate. Now with a snake as wacky as Shadow, this is the tricky part. As you can see, where I went to touch her, she's still in feeding mode, so she will come flying around at you and will bite you because she's still in food mode, she's still in hunting mode. So that's understandable, so when she's in that kind of mood, I use a snake hook and just hook her so she realises that she's got nothing to bite and you don't have the smell of mice on you. So my fourth and final tip is the best for getting your snake used to your touch and which will make handling you a lot easier in the future and that is simply stroking them like you would a cat or a dog and it doesn't stress them out people say that you shouldn't treat them like cat or dogs and I totally agree with that but stroking them isn't going to do them any harm and it's just it's so good for getting them used to human touch so those are my four top tips for getting your snake to trust you and having a nice tame snake and this will get the best personality out of your snake. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and feel free to share it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.